Y'all back. <laughs> Let me put you on to something real quick. Lemonhead Chewies Tropical. Mm. Mm. Throw breakfast out the window. Mm. Ugh, so good. How are you guys doing? I'm back with another video. In this one, we are going to do something inspired by the one, the only, Pablo Picasso. Uh, he is my favorite. I love him so much. In the beginning, I wasn't intentionally doing an inspired drawing by his, but when I was starting to doodle, when I did the rough sketch, I'm like, ooh, I like this. I brought up a picture of one of his drawings that looked like it, and I'm like, I might as well just go with it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and go into the drawing. Let's do this thing. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. Or, not bye, but please watch the video. Bye. Well, thank you so much for making it this far. Uh, of course, you know, I go ahead and went into wit. Um, I took a teal because I love teal. Um, and like I said, this kind of reminded me of Picasso. So I went ahead and brought up a little picture um, of the photo that kind of reminded me of the drawing that I was making. So I went ahead and went based on that. But I also wanted to do my little wiggle waggles. I wanted to add my flair, my style, of course. Uh, still keeping his little flavor, though. And of course, once I had an outline that I was kind of vibing with, I went ahead and started coloring in. One thing I like to say about uh, oil pastels is that you really want to focus on one area. You don't want to go back too much on one area because as much as I love oil pastels, they do kind of suck sometimes and sometimes they do dry out or just when you layer too much, they start to rub up. So make sure you're doing one little section at a time, keeping your, you know, keeping your flavor, especially big drawings like this, because you do not want to do, you know, multiple areas at once and then come back to it and then find that it's not layering right and that's what I feel like a lot of people have problems with is they'll come back to an area that they overworked and then everything is starting to bubble up and beat up and that's not cute it is not a look so make sure you're doing one little area at a time let me tell you it will help you a lot it helped me a lot so try it out see if it works for you I also forgot to mention what kind of oil pastels I'm using I'm mainly using expressionist crepas and also uh, Crayola of course my baby girl now, in an upcoming video, I probably will be explaining um, the fact that I'm probably going to be quitting using uh, Crayola oil pastels, and I'll explain why um, in the video. I also have another review of another oil pastel that y'all want me to look at, so I can't wait to show y'all. It's going to be so much fun doing a new project and playing with new oil pastels, you know what I mean? Now, as you can see, I wanted to make sure these noses were super greasy, super oily. Uh, of course, no pores though. We don't mess with pores, even though mine are huge. They are like craters upon my faces, period. I just wanted to make them as juicy as the lips were gonna be, so I just wanted to make them wet and shiny. Uh, same with the other one. And I wanted to do like a double feature type thing. Uh, that, you know, it's a trend right now, but you know, I, I've always done it in my artwork, but you know, it, trend or not, it's beautiful and I think it's so pretty to do. So I wanted to do it in this because Picasso always did some funky stuff like this. So yes. I also attempted to try and do like this 3D thing where the other nose was like behind the other nose and it really didn't work, but you know, it still looks cute old level. Hold on, let me make one thing really, really, really clear. Um, I do not condone the things that Picasso has done in his life. Um, he was not always the most, uh, you know, uh, precious uh, i don't know the word you know what i mean he wasn't the most like oh like oh i'm an angel type person um he's done a lot of crooked look at sound and stuff i don't know him personally um i wish i had he sounds like a pretty weird guy um but he has done a lot of weird stuff in his life and i do not condemn most of it so don't think just because i love his artwork i you know love him as a person too i didn't know him a lot of people didn't all we know is what is in the books and what's the documentaries movies all this stuff so like I said I do not condone a lot of the things that have been talked about him I just love his artwork and what they mean and sometimes what they express they're very inspirational also understand that there are a lot more Spanish artists out there that I probably need to read up on but like I said it, it kind of starts with the popular ones um, you always get inspired by the ones that you were taught you know the earliest in childhood and he was one of them uh, in the schools that we talked about and learned about and he's very inspirational as I've said time and time again I am no art teacher I'm now historian so go ahead and teach yourself because Pablo Picasso is pretty neat but like I said he's done some weird cook his things so go ahead and learn about him 
Also, how is everybody doing? Um, I mean, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Uh, what did y'all have for lunch today? What did I have for lunch? Um, I had a whole bag of kettle cooked chips and hummus. Oh my gosh, I felt so skinny, so nutritionized. Y'all, I felt so light on my feet, I thought I was floating. Uh, welcome to my new 60 pound life. Uh, then of course, two hours later, I got a super bad headache and then I felt fat again. Uh, if someone in the comments is like a doctor or something, can you all tell me what's happening to me? I have not drank water in the last week and a half. To be honest, I don't know how some of y'all are actively inhaling water. Um, I think it is not right. I don't think human beings should be uh, you equipped to have that kind of liquid in their mouth. I don't like it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> y'all probably think I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm over here laughing. I'm like, what the hell am I talking about right now? This is what happens when you record voiceovers at 2 a.m. It does not play out well. So, hello. <laughs> Anyways, this is what the ear looks like when it's done. <laughs> Back to the drawing. <laughs> Does anybody have any problems with drawing necks sometimes, like the neck shadow? Sometimes it just be looking like a neck beard when I be doing it. I do be messing up, y'all. Like, don't think I'm, I'm like, oh, I know what I'm doing all the time. No. Sometimes it looks like a really bad neck beard. Some of them can be cute, I will say, but, uh. Ooh, let me tell you, the hair was a whole other animal on this drawing. I did not know, first of all, I didn't know what color to do. So I said, okay, blue is always the way to go. And then I was gonna do like a red, half and half. But anyways, I ended up doing all blue. I wanted to do like a seashell type thing where instead of like individual strands where it actually looks like hair, it's like, like a, a helmet. However, when I was done, this lady did look like she was, you know, a character from Lazy Town. Y'all remember that creepy show with them helmets, hair? Oh my gosh, it was a whole mess. It, she looked like she had a whole Lego on top of her head. You know, I kind of want to do like a really quick like uh, experiment because you know I'm like a scientist or whatever. I want to see how many people actually listen to my like voiceovers in my videos and like listen all the way through. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. And also comment down below, woof waffin. There is no perfect spelling, just you know, it sounded out because I'm not smart and I don't know how to spell either. Uh, so just comment woof waffin if you've actually made it this far in the audio. Okay, bye. I will say, sis's hair looks like a whole shell. She said, hello, hermit. <laughs> hermit. I wouldn't be surprised if a hermit crab just said, hello, peekaboo. She looked like a concha. Okay, now we're getting to the bangs. And let me tell you, these bangs were a hot, hot mess. A stank mess. He done said, Mary, stank mess to you and you and you. I thought they were going to be cute. I thought we were going to do some really cute blue bangs and mix them up with some purple or whatever. And I started filling everything out. It did not look good. I started filling everything in and trying to do my wiggle waggles or whatever. And it did not work. So I did this like scrape in between where the line meets like the forehead to make try and make it 3D. And then I filled it in with some black. It actually kind of looked cute it looked like a whole seashell like i said mr kermit hermit or whatever is gonna poke out and be like hello well, i misspoke a little bit i didn't actually use black i just used dark red and dark blue it kind of made like a darker tone you know what i mean she said up where they walk up where they run <laughs> she looked like a whole crab <laughs> wait what does the crab sing in Little Mermaid? I can't remember. Under the sea, under the sea, uh, under the sea. That's what I mean. She's the whole, whole crab. Oh, curler. <laughs> like Picasso's painting that I showed you in the beginning, um, I wanted to do that shadow that he does, that really dark shadow that is kind of like casted on the wall. That adds like a very like dramatic effect. So I went ahead and do that. Uh, I added two layers of darker colors to make it even darker color as you can see there. 
wanted red to be on the bottom because when I scratched it out, I wanted it to be uh, very red and very cute and make sure that hair be popping, if you know what I mean, very much. This is very much news to me. I did not know I did not film the background, but anyways, this is the scratchy scratch. Yeah! The scratchy scratch. I should do like a little theme song with my scratches. Girl, this is my favorite freaking thing to do in my whole life. I love doing these scratches. They are so lovely, so nice, and so satisfying to do. But as I was saying about the background, I have no idea why I didn't film that. All it is is like a like pink that I filled in the background with. It is not that uh crazy so i went ahead and i do my scratchy scratches i could not miss the scratches anyways i oh my gosh look at the background yes ma'am this little shadow part has to be my favorite that i scratched in girl it looks almost like it's 3d like it's poking out or like i did double lines look at that isn't that pretty neat can you see that that is pretty neat to me she is very beautiful to me course get that fluffy fluffy brush and flickle away all those uh nasty little bits and you are done oh done zeal or color Well, I hope you had fun watching that because I did have fun drawing that. Here it is. She's a big girl. Oh, look at her. Mm. Look at her little bangs. Her little seashell bang. Oh, I love it. So yeah, this is going to be overall an inspired look from Pablo Picasso. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, concerns, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys want to see anything else, let me know. And also click that little bell because that will let you know when I post again. I know I'm a little random. <laughs> I'm just so random. But yeah. Bye guys.